Well, thank you for uh, watching this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about send reminder uh, uh, to your customers. Whenever you have o o overdue uh, invoice, you want to send them a reminder, uh, in this case by email. All right, so that's the focus of this video. I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online, so left navigation bar, customers, and the money bar is right here in the middle. In this case, uh, I have four overdue invoices. Just click that one. It will give you a list, pending invoices. All right, and the send reminder uh, under action column here. So in this case, you have to send a reminder one at a time. There is no uh, batch. You can send it to uh, you know uh, to your customers. Although it says batch in here, but the email it, it, it you know it's it's for uh, one uh, you know uh, goes to the same place. Okay, but there's a difference in here. I'll, I'll talk about that one too. So I'm just going to send a re reminder in here. Send a reminder. All right, so it looks like this you can change it in any way you want it in here I'm just gonna send it okay so I'm, I already sent it and let's say you want to uh, change the template in here you know then you can go in here company gear upper right corner and under account and settings uh, sales and underneath you'll see the miners in here so this is where you change your uh, default uh, settings in here, right? Right here, you just change it here, and just save it. Uh, that's about it. And uh, so let's see how your customers got it. So I, I I sent it to myself in here. So here's the invoice. All right, it goes like this. See invoice, and you can it's a template. It's the uh, PDF is attached. PDF invoice. So it looks like this, right? Like this. Okay, so uh, now the difference is when this this this, this goes through a uh, uh, Intuit server. So as you can see, it will say QuickBooks at notification dot com. So if customers want to, uh, you know, uh, reply regarding this invoice, they can't do it because it will go to through this unless they come up with some way to change to a uh, to uh, email address in here. Okay. So, but if you use this one, let's say this one, and in this case, you can just click email, and this one is it goes through. If you have Outlook, it goes through uh, your own uh, uh, email settings in here. So then, you know, it's your own email. So that's a nice way to do it. But at this point, you can send, uh, you know, a batch to all, uh, all, you know, all customers separately. But it go, you know, it goes through email. But it, it was just one at a time. It was goes to the same place. So it won't work, um, and uh, and uh, so also the uh, you know it's, uh, there's no automatic reminder uh, notice you know let's say you expect uh, uh, you know to send out a reminder notice on all, all past two uh, invoices automatically without uh, doing manual in here. Right now in QBO they don't have they don't have that. So if you send out, you know, feedback, maybe we'll do a listen to you. So you know that way you don't have to do this manually. So when it was passed to you, just send out email uh, to your customer. You know that works, right? So anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video and visit our website newkbo.com, newkbo.com. Thank you.